one. Once upon a time, I had a need for a web app to be somehow compiled into a single binary file so I can run it on any uh, of my machines or if you want to create a version to create Windows version or Linux version. So I found a project called Electron and as you can see inside the Electron what you can create uh, it's a uh, a compiled version of JavaScript HTML and CSS app which I had a custom need and I asked someone to design uh, a simple uh, JavaScript code for building um, a PDF out of a form so today we're gonna go over on how to install uh, Electron on Mac currently I'm using uh, Apple Silicon ARM Mac and uh, this uh, tutorial is uh, dated as of February of 2024 so all the version that you're gonna see today it's up to date as of today so um, as you can see there is a um, few steps we need to do uh, and I'll also include all the steps inside the uh, description so you guys can follow uh, some of the steps I'm going to be showing here. And also I'm going to include some additional links to interesting materials and information regarding that. I'm not a professional coder on a daily basis. Uh, so I'm doing that video for my own purposes as well. Just in case I need to go back and look it up. And I hope this video will help uh, some other people. And today um, we're going to be using um, Electron with uh, Electron Packager. There is also uh, another way to compile the code, uh, which is the Electron Builder. I'm currently not using it. The difference between them, it's, I would say it's drastic. Uh, since uh, Packager, it's... Um, a simpler installation and quicker maybe you just install all the packages inside the project folder uh, however the builder I haven't tested yet but according to the information that I found online it uh, the difference is that builder comes with uh, application updater built-in so it's easier to update uh, your application versions across and also the builder comes with optimized code so uh, it installs what it needs on the machine and uh, makes the code a little bit more efficient and smaller I assume but in today's example we're gonna be using Packager and all the links are gonna be included in the description so let's get started and see how to use it on the Mac which I had a hard time and uh, since I figured this out I wanna just share this information for some other people that want to try out Electron and see how that works and perhaps try out their own code and uh, let's jump to the uh, step one <clears throat> we need to install node.js so you got to go to go to the website called nodejs.org uh, once you're on the website uh, click on download in my case it's Mac operating system so we're gonna hit uh, download and allow once it's downloaded we're just gonna install it and we're just gonna follow the prompts and we're not gonna modify anything or change anything just hit continue I agree and uh, you can customize but I don't recommend changing anything okay so just leave it as it is this is gonna install the latest version as I said as of February of 2024 and we're gonna hit install we gotta en enter the password Okay, uh, since uh, once that gets installed, we're gonna go to terminal. We're gonna open the terminal. I also have a notes, uh, which I get to it later. And uh, we have to um, CD, change directory. We have to go inside the uh, project directory, which is right here on my desktop. So if you open, 
I got the HTML version of it and then I have a JavaScript. So if you open this index HTML, it's going to show you a little preview of what it's going to look like. And this is just asking for uh, some questions and then you can create a uh, generate is going to create a PDF file. So this is what it looks like in the browser, but I wanted to have a binary file so I don't have to use the browser and uh, let's uh, continue. So in that case, we're just going to go change directory CD and uh, I'm being lazy and I'm just going to drag this file over and hit enter. So now if I do a ls, we're going to see all the files that I have inside. All right. So installing these packages for uh, that project is, was a little bit tricky. I don't know why. And uh, I have no explanation. I think if we do some more digging, we can find out. But uh, installing all these packages, um, you can do without using a sudo account. You can just use your uh, user account. But when you do the updates, they seem to fail and throw some errors. So we're going to use sudo for updates. Okay. So let's continue. Let's uh, let's see what we have to do next. The next step, once we inside the code, we're gonna have to install the uh, electron, and we're gonna go for that to the uh, to the website. And uh, once you're on the website, you scroll down. You're gonna see latest version and instruction on how to install it. If we all right, so to install it, we're going to have to scroll down to installation and we're just going to copy this code over here. I'm going to do copy. We're going to go to terminal. As you can see, I'm installing it as a test user since this user on that Mac account is test. So we're going to paste the code and we're going to hit enter. Okay, so it got installed. We didn't have any errors. However, it says that there was an update for it. So we're going to copy that command here. Uh, let me just try this one more time. I'm going to just command C, shortcut. Now, what we have to do is run it as sudo. And apparently it installs some uh, files inside the uh, system folder. So we're just going to do a sudo and that command, we hit enter. We have to type in uh, the test user password. And it's going to get installed. We got no errors. Okay, so the next thing, uh, we need to install the packager. You know, the packager I was showing you guys before. So we're going to scroll on their website. Again, the links will be provided in Packager, as you can see, uh, can compile for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So we're going to go and copy that information. You can click here, copy it. I'm going to go back to Terminal. We paste it. And uh, we hit Enter. Now, Packager requires one more uh, line uh, since we're installing uh, and uh, running the uh, compiler using CLI. So we need to install additional um, Electron uh, Packager uh, CLI version. So for that, we're just going to type in... NPM. Uh, we're gonna have to run it as sudo npm install. Electron.
uh, dash G. Okay, let's type in. Okay, now we're so far, that's good. All right, so now we got everything installed. What we need for compiling inside the project folder, and that should be all installed in the node modules right here. All right, so to check the versions, we can do uh, in two ways. Uh, we can check the uh, npm version and uh, the node version that we're using. And there's another way to do it. You can just go inside the modules uh, of your project and then you go to Electron, uh, Electron, Electron, folder, and then we go to Distro, and then you have Electron application right here. You can just double click to open it. Once you have it, then it will show you uh, the version of Electron. Uh, the chromium version node version and uh if you click on their website where you run the code it says 2901 it's the latest so in our application it's 2901 chromium is 122 with the n57 so yeah that matches as you can see and 29.0 so everything is up to date. So we got the latest version. Okay. Now the final thing is to compile the code. So to do that, um, we can do uh, three different compile versions over here. Okay. So let me just pull up the um, description so we can scroll this down. Okay. So we got the, uh, if you wanted just the version to be ARM only, if you have an ARM computer, this is what I recommend. This is going to get slightly optimized and it's going to be faster. In that case, you just use this command and you can change your uh, application name here. And make sure it says Darwin and ARM64. Now, if you wanted this to be universal for ARM computers and Intel, then you need to change this a little bit. And it will, when you run this command, it will ask you to install additional libraries from Xcode. And we'll do that as well. So in that case, uh, you would change uh, the Arch to Universal. Now, if you wanted just the Intel, because you, let's say, use Intel base Mac only, then you need to change it to x64 over here. So this will be also included in the description. So... Let's just copy this first line and let's run it. So now we're just gonna execute this command. As you can see, it says packaging with 29-0.1 and it says where the final code is located. So it's in your uh, project folder and it created another uh, project a folder called your app name uh, Darwin Arm 64 so we're gonna go back to that folder as you can see it's right here now when you go inside this is your code okay to create your own custom logo for the application if you wanted your own customized uh, logo you would have to place logo icon uh, into the uh, project folder and it's gonna apply uh, your custom icon to it so we have a default one so in that case we're just gonna use that so if you want to just right click on it get info you can see it says apple silicon Now I can double click this to open. And as you can see, it's gonna open and it's not using the browser. It's everything is packaged into one binary file. So it's ready to go. Okay, we're gonna delete this version.
and what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, compile for universal version now so we're just gonna copy this universal and this is also the location of the icon if you have so we're gonna go with this it says universal so we're gonna clear this screen enter the code hit enter Okay, as you can see, command line uh, from Xcode, it needs to install additional files here, which is going to hit install. I agree. This might take a little while, so be patient. Let it finish and download. Okay. Installation is complete. We can rerun this command. So I'm just going arrow up to bring up the last command again. I'm just going to hit enter. Now it's uh, packaging it for Universal. Includes the x64 and ARM. So it's going to have two versions in one. Okay, once it got created, we see it says Universal. We're going to get info on this. And as you can see, it says universal. If you want to create the Intel base, we can delete that. And we can go back to our notes and copy the Intel version. And we're going to clear this. Okay, it was created. And if we get info on that, it says Intel. This is how you uh, compile program and you run it. Uh, latest Electron in Mac OS X using Packager. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like these uh, videos, please uh, click subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. And I uh, appreciate you being here. Thank you. Take care. Good luck.